Man, this motherfucker was like the William Refrigerator. Excuse Pay the language. Deal. Here you go, here you go. Yerp is Denzi here with another one. Probably can't see my eyes because I'm looking up there, the camera up there today. How the fuck is I supposed to get out from here? Chump, I'm going to catch you. But you ain't gonna catch me. But anyway, shout out to YouTube and having a two for us to watch. Nigga, you better jump before I shoot you down. What you think? I'm gonna jump out here and end up like Christopher Reed. Come on. It's a name in here. I want to see if y'all catch it. Hopefully y'all catch it when it's up there. Uh, what are we on? We Oh, we recording? Okay, bet. I didn't know if we was recording or not. So I'm telling you, I'm gonna jump. But you better not let me hurt myself. Here you go, here you go, here you go. go. Jump! Jump! Oh. You alright? <laughs> yeah, I'm lying, alright? Didn't you just see me fall? Still trying to figure out how to turn the video down without turning me down. American Gangsters. Big Bunny Claiborne. <laughs> Boom! We got action. Listen, um. Syrup is Denzi. YouTube. Shout out to the two new subscribers for being you. I damn, I knocked all the wind out of my session. Get your ass down. Another shout out to K A K E Lee. Don't want to fuck up your first name saying it crazily and shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, this is one of them videos where I react to Mike Epps. I started this video and I said something telling me that this gonna be fire. This shit don't make no sense, man. Shut up. Uh, hopefully the microphone picks it up. Let's see. Alright, so the, the microphone is a little low. That's gonna be for the video. And then Mike Epps playing a drug dealer. We gonna see. Police brutality. No copyright. I got something for that though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually edit this one and see how it goes. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. Got some more content for y'all, especially for my new pages. Hopefully, I can you know get get the time to do them. I like sitting in my car because I actually get work done. I don't really care for being outside right now. I've done all that and it's gotten me in this car. So without further ado, Big Bunny Claiborne. <laughs> on the streets of Philadelphia, Mr. Claiborne was a mythical character. Man, this motherfucker was like the William Refrigerator. Excuse Canadian the language. Deal. It's Rocky, it's Will Smith, and it's Leon Big Bunny Claiborne. Sorry, okay? not sorry. I'm one of the coldest motherfuckers that ever sold the goddamn nickel bag on the east side. And you can have anybody goddamn bag, bag on the east side. You may see it as a nickel bag, but if you add up enough of them, pretty soon we're talking major weight. The <laughs> idea that this guy... My most recent video, what did, what did Colonel Claiborne's customer ask just for? Just law enforcement into a rage. I sell nickel bag right in front of the police. Police come down there and dealing with another nigga. Got him on the car. I'm selling nickel bag right back back. Look. If you out here selling nickel bags in front of the police and the police stop you, it's something wrong with the police. First off, this is before weed is legal. And before, you know, motherfuckers is just like, I do this, I do that. I sell this, I sell. Don't sell nothing. Have the people selling some is the law. The law gave them that. Have you ever noticed how the law try to stick stuff in your cars and pockets when they search you? They do that. But if you're not paying attention, you're not going to know. Go back right in front of the police. Police come down there and dealing with another nigga. Got him on the car. I'm telling nigga back right back, back right behind his back. Well, let's just say, without the combined right, effort right, of multiple law back. enforcement agencies, there's no way we could have brought his empire to a close. Because I was taking the nickel bag and wrapping a, a thread on top of the nickel bag and lowering the nickel bag down off the top of the building like this. He's virtually a one-man criminal organization. <laughs> People just walking in the air just grabbing nickel bags out the air. Yeah. Just grabbing yeah. nickel bags out yeah. the air. Even law enforcement started to get caught up in the money. 
Man, I don't know how that motherfucker made all that money, man. The way he was stuffing them sack. And the ladies in school with you just selling nickel bags up? That's the best way to sell Excuse me? The ladies just hang it off a building and let people dealer. walk by a Come again. The ladies, you know, you just sell nickel bags, man. What, what do they think about you just selling nickel bags instead of big weight? Kerwin I'm Claiborne, where you at? Was he ruthless? Leon used to punch puppies. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about that. Ask me something now. <laughs> more, let's punch talk about puppies. something more sophisticated is basically what I want to say. Leon choked a cat one time. Jumped on my Uncle Willie, beat him half to death, took a hammer and duct taped it to my hand and tried to beat the goddamn shit out of him. <laughs> the most famous nickel bag dealer in the world. The most famous nickel Big bag Bunny dealer Claiborne. in the world. An American guy. Big Billy Claiborne. Who chokes cats? Kerwin Claiborne, where you at, man? If I find a video with a cat on it and you choking the cat, in the video, it ain't you, it's somebody doing that. And you doing the voiceover for that, I'm posting that shit. We're going to screen record this exact moment. Hold on one second, that wasn't part of the video. I'm going to come back to that. What is that? American 2, yeah, Ryan Fest. Shout out to you. I'm going to like your video real quick. Before we get out of here, one more hit from Pineapple. Apple pair. Uh, kind of not really even focus on video reactions right now because I'm trying to learn the right way to do it besides just diving in and doing it. Uh, a little bit of me shining. That's sweat. That is not no goddamn melatonin. Not really cussing like that, but who cares? We're doing the best we can, when we can, how we can, where we can. Deuces. Have another one. Yeah, if you want to follow me, I'm coming with you, with you. Get your tickets. I'm popping up, doggone. I'm doing pop up shows now. I'm popping up. Go, go there right now. Look, y'all, see it with me. This is my mouth. This is a phone. This is not a remote. This is a phone. Right now. Go. You know where to go. Oh, did I talk on? Hold on. See, it's ringing. My friend calling me now. Wait, what's up? Listen, they be thinking I don't be talking to you on this. Don't tell my something. It's a remote. S say something to them so they can hear you. Y'all so doggone eager. Y'all know this a doggone phone? Shoot. I swear, but listen. Click the link in my bio to get your tickets, doggone. Get them. Bring it into the phone. Don't forget to tell your man, man. Y'all get y'all tickets. Doggone it. And then follow him.